we're back again for episode three of uh, my Minecraft Let's Play. This is the bed. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to screw up and stop my spawns. I got a little bit of floaty tree. Thought I got everything out of it, but I apparently failed. As you can tell, the floor is all black. And uh, I got something I wanted to work on. I didn't intend to do it with those yet. So we'll just store these in here. I done some branch mining, but all I found so far is these four diamonds. Um, I had more iron, but I uh, I used a lot. Of them. I'm sure you see pistons. And they go the whole way down. Um, here's where a lot of my cobblestone went, and I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna need. So I'm just gonna take all that pressure plate. Take these pistons. Screw. We'll take another stack of redstone just in case. And uh, let's go down, shall we? Okay. That's my uh, safe drop. Get down fast. And because uh, pretty soon I'm not going to be able to get down using the stairs. Um, right. This is why I brought the pistons. I hadn't quite made enough to fill up this whole thing yet. And creating this whole thing is going to be a little bit dangerous because of all the gravel. It's going to make things much more difficult than I had originally intended. And I actually didn't want to destroy that block. I think I know what I'm doing. I could be lying. Now, in theory, if I place that there, I should be able to place redstone here. Not there. I know I'm doing things the hard way with this, and it's gonna happen. Okay, first things first. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig out the entire area behind the uh, the pistons. Where we're gonna lead all the redstone wiring up through, and then I will be back with you because you probably don't want to see all of that. And I apparently don't know the exact path for that either. Let's do a quick... Okay, I was trying to do a quick dig check, but I apparently... I'm already lost. Okay. Um, so... I'll tell you what. We're not going to dig all of them out just yet. You know, I apparently have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh. Tell you what I was doing. Not going back far enough. And this gravel is part of the reason why this is going to be more difficult than I had originally intended. We'll get this set up up to this one, I think. That could have been very bad. Put that there. Oops. Now, if this gets all set up properly, I should be able to easily supply a redstone signal. Ooh, iron. Actually, need iron. Uh, okay. Figures I would find it while not looking for it, though. We're going to take this pressure plate. This little guy is going to sit right here. Oh, I might want to put that block in. Um, I know what I'm doing wrong here. Don't correct me. That should fix it. Now, it's going to add a delay that I didn't necessarily want, but it shouldn't screw anything up. Okay. I'm apparently just retarded. Now, oops. I don't want this opening in the wall here. 
so I'm actually going to have to go about this a slightly different way than I originally intended. Run the redstone up through the floor, like so. Oops. Oh, I've gone and trapped myself in here. Okay. Now, this should work, in theory. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to set up these few, like this. And uh, we'll see how it gets me. I'm sure I'm going to have to play with the timing, but let's see what happens. worried about that. Let's try setting a one tick delay. You know what? We'll make it two ticks. Hmm. I had seen at some point that this might not work anymore, and it appears like it just may not be. the idea of the escalator. Apparently the idea of the escalator is broken. You know, I'm going to make an adjustment to this. It's going to make this uh, even more ridiculous. Take up more space. But the problem might be related to pistons and pushing a player directly as opposed to through a block, which I don't need that bucket of lava on my bar, so we'll just uh, make that go away. Now, piston will go there. Cobblestone there. I'm going to have to do that the whole way up. You know, I think you can place... No? Hmm. I thought you could, but apparently I'm retarded. Apparently I'm going to have to make this a lot bigger than I originally intended, but, uh, oh well, shit happens, I guess. Although, going through and doing all this with all this stuff in my inventory is going to be more difficult than I intended. Everything's always just going to be more difficult than I intended. It's just how things work. One tick delay once again. One tick should be good enough to pull this off. And if this gets me up the second stairway, then I know that it's working. Oops. What's going on here? Oh. Derp. They're not sticky pistons. And I haven't encountered any slimes yet. Okay, from the looks of this, if these were sticky pistons, this would work just fine. But we're going to have to stop this whole thing till I get... Uh, put that there for safekeeping. Until I get uh, sticky pistons... I should have known that. And I did know it after I realized I was being retarded. Once again, spooky noises. Always there. As I'm sure you can tell, I have a source of food now. Currently, the only way up this is to just walk up it manually. So, that's kind of a pain. But uh, I actually want to do a little bit of exploring today. I did kind of want to do some building, but uh, I want to do some more land reshaping before I do that. So, you know, I'm going up these stairs the hard way. Let's do this. There we go. 
Still haven't uh, really done anything related to a roof. And still got a bunch of random materials on me. These boxes aren't entirely organized. Don't leave anything in this furnace. Nope. I haven't really managed to find too many resources uh, while out digging and stuff. It's kind of depressing, but uh, it happens. And one random cob wall, and it's lonesome. We'll go out the door here, and we'll take a look at my little see you. Stop knocking on my door. Walk through the other right. So, wheat farm's not very big at the moment, but uh, it's been enough. It's working. Um, do I kind of want to build? But uh, as you can see, I've been working real hard and putting up trees. I want to go find a desert, though. And if I'm going to do that, I should take more shovels with me. As I'm sure you've guessed, the entire thing, as per usual with me, was not pre-planned. Just kind of doing things on a whim, like I do. Not much for planning. It's much better to just handle things as they come at you and deal with it that way. How's the night look? Over halfway. I do have a plan for that floor. But uh, we won't go into that just yet. I don't have the stuff I want to do to improve upon it. So, current task at hand is I want to go find a desert because I want large supplies of glass, large supplies of cactus, everything. Don't blow up. Oh, here they come. I see reeds. Should probably go collect those. Hmm. I'm heading south, looks like. Well, not right now. Right now I'm heading west. Now I'm pretty sure that the actual Yeah, the uh the clouds it used to be they would move, I believe, south, way back before, but um, they appear to move the same direction as the sun and moon movements now. I'm being shot in the back. Whoa. Really should have made a bow so I could shoot back at these skeletons. Of course, though, I should have made armor. Don't you explode. Oh, more cows. I should slaughter these cows. I could use the food. Like the wheat farm works, but uh, it's always handy to have some backup. I do want to actually just make a farm. Not like a full farm, but uh, I want to make a farm for a specific animal. I'm not saying anything just yet. Oh. Leave me alone, skeleton. Oh, fine. He just wanted to mess with me. I do want to get an enchanting table going as quickly as possible. I don't need any more diamonds for that. And this isn't doing very good at searching for a desert. Staying in one area fighting skeletons and stuff. So I should probably continue on. Fight some zombies. 
Let's see if we can't get a rare drop. I don't even think we managed. No, we do have some zombie flesh, but I don't know if that's from now or from before. Just, you know, emergency weapon preparation. I want to go over that hill, stupid skeletons. I hope you burn. Oh, and you will burn. These creepers, on the other hand, won't. It's going to cause me some grief. But, uh... You stupid spiders. Always climbing in my house, charging me. Oh, yeah. Oh, we found a desert. And it's actually not that far from uh, where we set up the house. Just trying to get down here carefully. Yeah, cool. That, I, I don't know what is going on with my branch mine, but it hasn't been very profitable. But that's all fine and dandy. And uh, so, on an off topic, off topic, on a on a random topic, just kind of occurred to me, the uh, the circle blocks that everybody's been getting. I've considered getting them, but I think I'm gonna wait until they implement some kind of normal means of getting them instead of what I'm pretty sure is a bug. Like I'm really really sure it's a bug and there's videos out there if you want to know what I'm talking about I don't even actually have support for them in my texture pack yet I haven't gotten around to it because there is no legitimate way to pick them up and I don't recall anyone expressing any interest in my texture pack so I've been kind of not really doing anything with it I'm sure you can tell I'm collecting a lot of cactus. There's going to be no cactus left in this desert, but hopefully by the time I'm done, it's not going to matter. I should be able to set up my own cactus farm. Uh, it's daytime. I'm not going to force you guys to watch me dig up all this sand, so I'll be back with you in a little bit. And we're back. And, uh... You remember that little sand plateau I left you on that I started collecting this sand on? Well, uh... Oops. As you'll notice, uh... It's not there anymore. We've got a lot of sand now. Um... Looks like the day's probably about two-thirds over. That didn't really seem to collect that any faster. There's got to be something that collects cactus faster. Try my iron sword. Why not? I don't know if that really made it any faster. Hmm. I'm sure if I had like a pick or an axe or something enchanted with efficiency, it would make a difference because it seems to make a difference regardless of what you're hitting, not if it's just, you know, the kind of block you should be picking up with that. So... I don't know, we'll go into that a little bit later. I need to not walk into the cactus. That would be painful. It'd be very prickly. Get my cobble back. This is why scroll wheeling to select things is bad. But anything beyond the uh, sixth point on my hotbar, I scroll to it. Which is why I always keep my uh, torches and everything on the uh, first spot there. Do you see what I see? Because I see it. Okay, I got three tries. One, two, three. Well, no wolf for me. It's for the better. I don't really like dogs too much anyhow. I'm more of a cat person. And we will get a cat. Right after we have a livable establishment. But, uh, let me see, that's 68 cactus. I'll 
grab these reeds. I do have a big plan for the glass. Um, I can't even guarantee that's going to be enough glass. And if I need more sand for glass, I'll probably come out here and get it off camera. Just so that way you don't have to deal with it. I might actually, uh, if I can get enough iron, I'll set up a rail track over to here. So that way we can, I can get to and from it a lot quicker. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll build something out here too. It does sound like fun building different biomes. Last time I just kind of built around one little area. I didn't do anything too special. Built it on another brick. It was terrible. So we're not going to go into that. I am, however, going to start getting out of here right now. Because it's night time. And I've got a lot of sand on me. So, I think it is most definitely time to go. And I think sprinting is the best solution. I'm not even going the right way, am I? I should be. I had the sun on the left of me. Yeah, sun's on the left. So, my house should be right somewhere up over this hill. Or should say our house. We're in this together, guys. On that note, and because when I get back to the house, I plan to end the episode, so this is going to be the uh, pre-ending little discussion. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did want to do this as a multiplayer deal, kind of like if you guys have ever seen the Mind Crack Let's Play that Good does. Um, you know, not so much playing with other people constantly, but like a whole bunch of people, not a whole bunch, but a good number of people on a server, and, uh, you know, just doing their own thing in their own little spots, you know, so that way we can have collab videos occasionally too. Um, uh, but the thing is, I've been hosting one off my computer for a few friends of mine for a good long while now, and, uh, I was actually wanting to ask them what they would think about resetting the map and starting over. Uh, however, I think in this case what I would do is I would just transfer this map over so we continue what we're doing here and we don't just end the Let's Play, you know, like three episodes in. And uh, we'd all start just straight from here. I mean, I'm actually a decent distance from spawn. I would make sure I have all the proper backup stuff and whatnot set up because the other map got all screwy from power outages I had, so... Not my other Let's Play map, but I mean the multiplayer map they've been playing on. The biomes are all over the place. So, I don't know. As soon as I can get a hold of them, I'll ask them what they think about that. And uh, I'd be willing to open up the server for a few more people, too. Ideally, I'd like to get a dedicated server, but I don't really have the money to do that at the moment. And... The reason why I don't want to just host off of my computer for like 10 people or something is because if I go to upload a video, it's just going to lag everybody horribly. And I don't want to do that. I want to have a nice stable situation for people to play their game in whenever I'm uploading an episode. So, reorganize my stuff here while I'm talking a little bit. So, uh, you know, feel free to let me know what you think on that. Uh, if they decide to watch the episodes where I can actually get a hold of them, they can comment what they think. Then you people will know who they are beforehand, but you know at least one of them if you've seen my Mansion Adventure maps. Yep, that pretty much gives that away. Um, so, and I did want to get a few other people as well. I don't really know where to put all this sand. So, uh, Wow, I have a lot of coal in general. So just let me know what you think about uh, that. And uh, see you guys again in the next episode.